for a while now, I've been wanting to bypass the stupid refrigerator filters. These things don't last very long. The water tastes like crap after just a few weeks sometimes. Maybe it's because I buy these crappy cheap filters. But either way, I wanted a much higher quality filter that's going to be a three-stage filter and, be, uh, and last much longer. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to bypass that filter in the refrigerator today. Um, I found out that if you take this out, I thought maybe it would automatically bypass the filter, but it does not. So be careful if you take out your filter and then you activate the water dispenser, it will just, uh, water will flow inside your fridge and then you got a mess to clean up. I know a little bit about that. When the water comes into the fridge, you've got this tube that brings it in. I was gonna actually just connect that tube directly to the filter and then have the outside go back into the fridge, but I realized that the activation switch, the solenoid, the valve that open up the water line is in here. So you need to go in here first, and then what it does, the water comes in here. When you activate it on the fridge, it opens up down here and then dispenses the water up through this line. Now, I know every fridge can be a little bit different, but this is the inlet. It goes into the filter here, and then it comes back out through this quarter inch line. And then that was connected to here, and then it goes to the dispenser right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bypass the filter by cutting this at some point and routing it to the new filter, and then routing the new filter back to here, essentially just bypassing the small filter with a better, higher, higher quality one. After doing plenty of research, I decided on the Aquasana filter, and I went with the Clarion uh, three-stage, sorry, the smaller one. It does 600 gallons, and this one does 800 gallons, but this one was extremely discounted when I bought it, so it was actually a much better deal per gallon to get the smaller one. The only downside to the Aquasana purchase is that it comes with, like, the sink side dispenser which we're not going to be using here so maybe i could keep it for a future use it didn't come with much hose but i'm not using it anyways we had to get some longer stuff to go across uh, where we're going across so we got the good three-stage filter now which i'm excited about unfortunately my local store did not have a 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths coupling on these push to connect connectors so I got a, a 5 16 to quarter and quarter to 3 8 which that's my best solution for right now I'll order a 5 16 by 3 8 single connector online and I'll have that uh, in the description in case that's what you need so I use the existing fitting quarter inch this is coming from the filter and then I use that little connection I just showed you to go the 5 16 converting to the 3 8 which goes to the filter. What I did is the cabinet underneath, um, I just above the fridge, I just put a 3 quarter inch hole there, wrote, uh, put both hoses up through there, and then we've got our Aquasana filter right here. So it'll be easy to just to reach up and to grab and twist these off and replace them when it's needed. There's a little battery powered alarm on these things that when it gets down to time to replace these, it'll actually beep at you while you're using it. And then after you're done using it on that time to let you know to change them out. And then you just change the battery each time and that's how it knows. So kind of cool, I'm digging it. And uh, we now have to go filter 10 minutes worth of water to prep this thing. I'm using the good old funnel into a bucket method so I don't have to keep emptying a pitcher. We're at about eight minutes in and about two thirds full in the bucket. So after 10 minutes of cycling the filter, we got this much water. So that's just 10 minutes. Imagine how many minutes it would take to get 6,000 gallons. Yup, just think about it. Here we go, first glass of water with the new filter. Everything works good. We'll see if it tastes good. It 
That is much better than the other filter. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do a test on it real quick. So it turns out I don't have a tester that works. So this, I am the tester today. This is tap water, okay? That's not good. Actually, that actually isn't good. This is zero water. My life, my, my life. My wife likes these uh, zero water filters, but they take out all the TDS, the total dissolved solids, where solid, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But some people say you should keep those, like the calcium and some stuff like that. So it actually, it has almost no flavor at all, which means it probably even filters out the water. It's just wet, it's all that's left. But the Aquasana, compared to those, It actually literally does taste like good. Like it tastes like good water, good filtered water, whatever. It's fine. I'm happy with it. And I don't have to change that filter for probably my lifetime in this house. It's 600 gallon. Did I say 6,000 before? I think I'm at 600. So if you didn't correct me, I'm correcting me. 600 gallons, it'll do. That's still a lot though. That's, it's just me and my wife at home and one kid left, she'll be gone soon, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Like it if you like it, don't if you don't. Subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't want to. I don't care either way. Peace, have a good night, or day, or whatever it is. Okay, one last little thing I forgot to tell you, the best drink of all, better than all those, Dissin. Oh yeah.